Switch is launching a new chapter of fun. Launching and loading is made even easier with the Switch Jet Drive and Intelligent Brake and Reverse System. This is something that worries some boaters, and trust me, it used to worry me too, but we're gonna give you some instructions to make it as worry-free as possible. Yeah, so launching and loading, that can be one of the moments in boating that causes a little anxiety. But if you're prepared and you practice and you're ready for the situation, it makes it easy. So part of that, if you're a new boater, is kind of getting a lay of the land of where you're gonna go. Where are the launch ramps? And knowing the details of those launch ramps, such as how many lanes there are at the boat ramp. Also understanding that the concrete of a boat ramp can also come to an end. So you wanna know where the concrete ends and might have a drop. You also wanna know where the parking is, if there's overflow parking, and also where the staging area is before you launch and after you launch. So you might wanna do a scouting trip to go and see what the situation is at your local ramps. Exactly, especially with summer, those beautiful weekends, it's gonna get packed. So you wanna get out there and plan ahead so you can get a lay of the land beforehand. Yeah, you wanna be efficient. I mean, there's a lot exactly. of people that wanna go out there, they're looking to have fun, everybody's mm -hmm. can't wait. So you definitely want to prepare as much as you can before you get to the ramp. So as much as you can do at home would save time at the location. So this includes just having everything ready that you can possibly bring with you that day. Mm -hmm. So snacks, yep. drinks, load those into coolers. coolers. You want to make sure you have your paperwork, your registration. Make sure you have your numbers displayed on the unit. Life you, jackets. Life vests. Yes. You want to have life vests, your towels. These are all things that you can put in the switch before you get to the ramp. So again, you're not loading it at the ramp and holding other people up. Mm -hmm. You also wanna make sure when you're hooking your trailer up that your coupler is connected properly, your safety chains are attached. Uh, you also wanna make sure your, your electrical uh, connections are, are working properly. Your brake lights yes. are coming on, your turn signals. Uh, just make sure everything is working before you leave. So again, you're at the boat ramp, you can get uh, in line at the staging position mm -hmm. and and be ready to launch. I'm a lifelong boater, so I've seen just about everything when it comes to boat ramps. Yeah, you definitely, you want to know what you're doing, but it takes a little practice. It's not mm -hmm. something that you're just going to get overnight. So there are things to do before you actually touch the water when you're at the launch ramp. So when you do arrive on site, this is where you want to pull into the staging area. And in the staging area, this is where you're going to do those final preparations, such as remove the transom strap from the rear of the watercraft and the trailer. You also want to tighten the drain plug. That's a really, really important one. But also do your final loading. Put in your towels, anything that you didn't want to blow out during the, the ride to the ramp. This is where you can also put up your bimini top. Yes, I was going to say if it's sunny, that's a great place before you launch. Yeah, that way you're not taking up dock space while other people are trying to launch and load. Uh, you also want to make sure your dock lines are ready. So again, as much as you can do before you pull in line, that's what you want to do. So then your next step is to actually pull in line. Once you pull in line, it's important to get as straight as you can as you're backing down. And if something starts to go awry, that's okay. Just pull forward and start over. Make sure you straighten out and start again. Yeah, that's a great tip. You wanna get as straight as you can and you wanna make sure you're only taking up one lane. You don't mm -hmm. wanna be in the middle of two lanes. Again, uh, to be respectful to others, it's boat ramp etiquette. So you wanna be in that lane and, and yeah, as straight as you can be, that's the perfect starting spot. Once you've straightened out, you're ready to start backing up. When you back up, make sure you're using both of your mirrors and if you have a backup camera, you can look at that too. A good gauge is to look at the fenders on your trailer to see exactly where you're at or you might even have your friend or your mate get out of the car to help guide you back into the water to make sure you're at the right spot. Yeah, that's perfect. The trailer fenders is something that's easy to see in both mirrors. And again, if you have technology that has that backup camera, a lot of them have that guide. It's really important to use very small movements. Mm -hmm. You don't want to overcompensate or over adjust when you're backing up. Very slight, small movements will keep you as straight as possible. So right before you hit the water, there's a couple more things you're gonna need to look at. So you wanna make sure that you unplug your lights, that your bow strap is undone, and that you're fully ready to go. So once you're all lined up and you've got everything freed from the trailer, now it's time to actually put the switch in the water. So this is where you wanna back up where the, the trailer fenders are just under the water a few inches or three quarters of the bunks are, are underwater. Again, where that transom is free, it's floating free, you can tell 
that it's ready to be released from the trailer. There's two ways to actually take the switch off the trailer. One is with the engine off, where one of your assistants or family members or friends have a dock line and actually pull the switch off the trailer and then pull it to the dock. And then when you do pull it to the dock, pull it all the way to the very end so you're respectful of others and give others opportunity and space to launch and load. The other option, once you've had some practice, would be to have one of your friends or family members be sitting in the switch, turn the engine on, and back the switch off the trailer. Again, making sure once you've backed off the trailer that you're out of the way of other people trying to launch. Yeah, that intelligent brake and reverse system really makes it easy for people to control the switch and pull it off the trailer in those tight quarter situations. So now that we've had a great day on the water and we're back on the dock, it's time to prepare for the ride home. Yeah, so while Kendall's going to get the car and the trailer, now we can be preparing things. We could be lowering the bimini top and again, preparing that for the trailer ride home. We can be stowing things so nothing blows out of the cockpit uh, again while we're on the road. So use that time efficiently and again, help Kendall or help your, your person driving the truck or trailer to back up safely in their own lane. So again, the same way as, as unloading the switch, there's two ways to load the switch. So one of your assistants or your friend's family with the dock line can pull the switch, aligning it onto the bunks, and then pull it up as far as you can. Then attach the winch strap to the bow and pull it up and secure it that way. If you are confident and you've had a little bit of practice, you can also drive the switch onto it at a very slow speed, at an idle speed, and just use the, the engine and drive the, the switch right onto the trailer. Again, attaching the winch strap and pulling it up so it's very secure before you pull it out of the water. Okay, so now that you have the switch secured to the trailer, now it's time to pull it out of the water. So you still need to do some final preparations for the, the drive home or the drive to the storage. So you wanna make sure you pull it out of the way of all the other flow of the traffic to, to be respectful to everybody else. And once you're out of the way, it's time to do those final preparations for your ride home. So there's several things you'll need to do. One, you need to make sure that everything is stored either within the car or within one of the storage bins inside the switch. You also need to make sure that the transom straps are done and that you've reconnected and tested the brake lights. Not to mention, some places have invasive species. So you might have to do a thorough rinse or if you've been in salt water, you want to make sure that you wash down with fresh water and then when you get home, do another thorough wash with soapy water as you want to make sure that you don't have salt corrosion. Anything else, Tim? No, those are great tips. And again, the invasive species things, it, it just depends on the lake you're in or the province or the state. Everybody's a little bit different. So just make sure you talk to your local dealer and they can give you some of that insight. You can visit your sea dealer to get more information about local boat ramps. Also, be sure to visit our Getting Started page on SeaDoo.com and visit our social media pages so you can see more great videos and tips. We look forward to seeing you out on the water.